Looking out the window, I really saw the transition from this bubble of the medical campus. And then the further along we got, we saw dilapidated buildings. The thing that really got to me was no grocery store. How can we expect to deliver medical care when even these fundamental needs aren't being met? This is where our patients live. This is where many members of our community live. And it's important that you see this so you can understand the social factors that are involved in poor health. There are places in this city now that have been so depleted, so to speak, of resources and people that things like packs of feral wild dogs can run through the neighborhoods looking for something to eat. Right? And this is where it happened. Um, in 2001, in March, one night, Rodney McAllister, 10 years old, his mom lived up there in Cabany. He was playing right over here in the park. And it was one of those nights where a pack of feral wild dogs that often hang out in these abandoned buildings came through the park looking for something to eat. Where are we with, with the current Rodney McAllisters who are still alive? It was definitely eye-opening. Everyone you see in the clinic is affected by these external things, and we all need to learn about that. We all need to do something about it. We all need to play an active role. This is bigger than learning about a small community in St. Louis. It's much larger. This shapes everything that we're going to be doing, that you're going to be doing for the rest of your lives. It's something that can't be avoided. Like, social issues are um, what health is embedded in. It has lifelong effects. In this one week of being in, in St. Louis, I feel like I know and understand like the fabric of the community better than some of the other places that I lived for years. We all always have to constantly interact with people who have biases and judge us. But doctors need to be the ones that don't have that. They have to be the ones in our society that we can always trust. Um, and to build that, you need to learn about how other people live their lives. I want our students to be able to understand what's going on in the minds and in the lives of the people that they will be caring for. As a consequence, they'll be able to contextualize the illness and they'll be able to reach out a hand and say, I understand, I understand, let's do this together.